and welcome to Medical Shorts by Tupper IMG. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to differentiate between abruptio placenta and placenta pavia. Abruptio placenta is described as premature separation of placenta after 20th week of gestation. The patient is going to present with a painful vaginal bleeding. So important thing to note over here is that bleeding is not going to be always present. There is a possibility that patient has concealed hemorrhage. On examination, the uterus is going to be tender. The presenting fetal part is going to be normal. May or may not be, there is a fetal distress. It's a clinical diagnosis. Ultrasound is not sensitive to for making the diagnosis of a brachial placenta. The treatment, if the gestational age is less than 37 weeks, you will perform serial hematocrit. and deliver when the hemorrhage dictates and when the fetus is mature, okay? If the gestational age is more than 37 weeks, you will stabilize the mother and deliver via the vaginal delivery if there is no contraindication. Coming to the placenta previa, placenta previa is defined as abnormal location of placenta. Near, partially, or completely over internal cervical os. The patient is going to present with painless vaginal bleeding. On examination, the uterus is going to be soft and non tender. The presenting fetal part is going to be high or displaced. The fetal heart rate is going to be normal. In order to make the diagnosis, you need to perform ultrasound. The transvaginal ultrasound is more sensitive for making the diagnosis. Coming to the treatment, if the gestational age is less than 37 weeks and there is minimal bleeding, then we basically perform expectant management. If the gestational age is more than 37 weeks and there is a profuse bleeding, you need to deliver the fetus via C-section. So this is how you are going to differentiate between these two conditions. So I'm just going to recap it quickly. Abruptio placenta is the premature separation of the placenta after the 20th week of the gestation. The patient is going to present with a painful vaginal bleeding. On examination, the uterus is going to be tender. Presenting fetal part is going to be normal. There may be fetal distress as well. It's a clinical diagnosis. Ultrasound is not sensitive for making the diagnosis. Coming to the treatment, if the gestational age is less than 37 weeks, you will perform the serial hematocrit and deliver when hemorrhage dictate and the fetus mature. Gestational age is more than 37 weeks. You will stabilize the mother and deliver. You can perform the delivery via the vaginal delivery if there is no contraindication. Coming to the placenta previa, which is defined as abnormal location, abnormal location of the placenta, near, partially, or completely over internal cervical os, the patient is going to present with a painless vaginal bleeding. On examination, the uterus is going to be soft and non-tender. Presenting fetal part is going to be high and displaced. The fetal heart rate is going to be normal. In order to make the diagnosis of placenta previa, we need to perform an ultrasound. The transvaginal ultrasound is more sensitive for diagnosing 
placenta previa. Coming to the treatment, if the gestational age is less than 37 weeks and there is a minimum bleeding, you perform expectant management. If the gestational age is more than 37 weeks, there is a profuse bleeding, you basically deliver the fetus via the C-section. If you like this video, kindly subscribe to our channel, Tutor ING. And for detailed information about this topic, please refer to our website, tutorimg.ca. Thank you very much.